All right, trade number 107. We're going to do a full recap on this one. This one was quick. It was around 40 seconds in length. So I'm going to play the video. I'm going to show you the full trade. I'm going to show you the ins and outs, and we'll just go from there. So to start things off, I do want to flip over to the chart to kind of show you what AMD has done today. But what I was watching this morning, if I zoom in, this is how I set it up. I was watching this 15-minute candle looking at the high, looking at the low, and then deciding to take the high, if I break 10 cents above this high, and take the low if we get 10 cents below. So that's how I set things up. Obviously, you can see it was another very violent, volatile day to the downside for AMD, which has been great because it's just a quick move. It's created quicker trades, not a lot of uh, retracement or back and forth. It's sort of hit and go, and then the trade's wrapped up. So let's show you the footage right here. I'm gonna play this. Now, what you can see, and actually I'll start this off by saying, I had an order to get short at 94.85, and when I open this up, you can see it drops down to, let me replay it here. You can see that it drops down to 86, I believe. Market opens, yeah, right there, drops to 86. So I'm a penny from being triggered in, and then it whips away. So the reason that's nice is because when it does push away and not trigger me in, it allows for the volume to grow, which in my opinion is good because it makes AMD even more liquid. So when I hit play again, you can see it whip away, but then it comes down and breaches 85. So I'm technically short right now, but TD Ameritrade sometimes with, with Thinkorswim, there's a little bit of a delay. So I'm not triggered in officially on my PL, but it will come in and you'll see what happens here. It starts to ring me up. And if you look over here, you'll see an incredibly slow fill. I start to get filled 27 shares, then it goes 327 and then jumps to 598, 629, 930. I finally get a full fill and you can see I really didn't take much slippage at all. I'm, I'm basically ended up being really good. So what happened was it pushed way down, got me full. Now 2R is $600 for me on this trade because I'm risking the $300 R value. I'm looking for the trade to get to $750, which is 2.5 Rs. Once it gets to that point, then I'll move my stop loss from its current position to 2R so that I can lock those profits in and not give any of that back. Then, if AMD continues to push further to the downside, I just go by, bar by bar on the stop loss movement. So the high of every successive bar, I'm gonna move my stop loss to. So as I push play and we continue to watch this, you'll see, you know, it's up 745, 818, 793. So I go ahead and I, I edit the order because we're beyond two and a half bar at 750. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually changing this order and getting it set up so that it's 50 cents in my profit in, because I'm risking 25 cents on the trade. So 25 cents is my, my R times two is 50 cents. So I move it from 85 down to 35, as you can see right there. And then I go ahead and I fire that out. And there it is. So the problem that, that takes place though, the thing that's, that's frustrating is it didn't just keep dropping. I'm still waiting for December to reveal one of the monsters. Every month, there's a few monsters lurking in the calendar, and December hasn't presented one yet. So I'm waiting for it to continue to the downside, but instead of that, it pushes back up, gets very close to my stop, and then ultimately triggers me out right there. So you can see up here, got filled at 94.29, 94.25, 94.34, and ultimately ended up in my favor, gave me a little slippage to, to the upside. So 707.60 is where I finished the day, which ended up being about 2.35 R on the day, which is fantastic, I will definitely take that. But again, still waiting for a monster to show up in December. This was trade number 107, and remember at the end of this month, I'm going to go back through all my trades and show you the metrics for the entire month of December. We're going to break it down week by week. We're going to kind of go look day by day through the calendar and then ultimately how the month turned out in terms of dollar value and in terms of 
R value. I'm going to kind of show you what the risk unit looked like for the entirety of the month. So if we flip back to the chart over here on AMD, you can see it did continue down. And if we pretend like it didn't stop me out and I just share with you my bar by bar stop loss movement strategy, I would have moved my stop loss from here to the high of this candle. So I would have been right here. But then you can see on the next candle, it dropped, came back up, and it would have stopped me. So the high is 93.88. I would have been stopped at 93.88. So again, not a monster. It didn't make a big move. There was no continuation. It did bounce and just kind of hang. So we'll look on to trade number 108 and we'll see what happens tomorrow. But this was a great quick hitter, 40 some seconds to get in and out. I think it was 42 seconds. I uh, checked the timestamps and uh, we got another good one on AMD. So what I do want to say is that thank you to everyone on Sunday for the live stream. We're going to plan on another live stream next Sunday on the 13th. And I'm going to go ahead and put that together and put out the announcement for it so everybody will get notifications. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, and then go to your notifications and turn those on so that you know the minute I've got that posted so that you can get in the live room for live day trading coaching session number two coming up next Sunday. All right. Hope everybody stuck to their plan today. If you have questions, drop them below. Anything about your trade strategy or trade management, I want to know about it, and we'll see you tomorrow.